Hello, hello everyone, this is Stisra aka Maser, and welcome back to my France Dark Mode Late Campaign Let's Play. So, things that have happened. Well, Stuttgart is, uh, well, we're now at peace, so, yay. I thought I asked for an alliance as well, but obviously that didn't go through for some reason. But at least we have a trade agreement, and that's important because... Uh, this port, is it up and running? Nope, it's down. And this port is blockaded. So, I'm getting money, but not as much as I would be if everything was actually up to scratch. And, uh, yeah, speaking of ports, my port is now unblockaded, seeing that the Austrian Navy decided to move. Which is good, quite good. Uh, but we still need a good navy. And I still haven't uh, been able to recruit a good one, or a significant amount of good ships, to be able to build a good one. So, let's build the um, second rate right there. And, do I want fourth rates? Not really, but I have to take what I, what I can take. And this navy will just have to sit here. Uh, until further notice. Anyway, seeing that we're now at peace with uh, Stuttgart or Wurttemberg, uh, this army here is now free to go up and join Hanover. Or join Hanover, rather, try to help Hanover. Which is very good because of the. what seems like the impending doom <laughs> from the. Um, I'm gonna get when I'm facing the Prussians. There are quite there are quite a lot of Prussians here. Let's see. There must be some unit we can merge. Let's see. Let's go here first and do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. So these are fully those are fully manned regiments. And now we can try to exchange units. You, I know you are gods, but we have some pretty awesome units. Which we could have there instead. Uh, Light Dragoons, I need you. I don't really want to change out the cavalry. No, I need the cavalry. What to change out? Uh, grenadiers. There we go. Other thing, other important stuff. Well, how's the morale here? Let's see, 110 range, all oh, we'll have that. 45 accuracy, 8 morale. 40 accuracy, 7 morale, okay. So, actually I think I'll take all of you guys, all of you special regiments, and exchange it with the regular lines. And there we go. So now Hanover is, is fully defended, and so is, well, it's fully defended plus reinforcements. So that's good. And it needs to be protected because, well, one, two, three whole armies, or at least half, half of, an, of an entire army and close to a full one. Uh, they are, uh, they seem to be ready to pounce. Anyway, over in the Netherlands, uh, this party here decided to start raiding, and I actually do have a superior force here, so I think I will I will fight this battle out and uh, try to try to rout and basically crush the Dutch rebel rebellions rebels as commonly known. Okay, the column tactics, apparently that's what my AI wants me to, to do. We'll see about that. Let's see, we are outmanning them, but this is still a battle and we might lose. So, I won't be too rash here. Come on, let me place you. There we go. 
militia and a big blob. And have you in, ret uh, in the reserve right there. And there goes my, my cavalry. And we have my general right there. Yeah, I think that this is uh, an okay deployment. If I can get them onto here, at least towards higher ground, that should give me give me an advantage. Got yeah, the militia right there. I'm professional as ever. Let's see, they don't have many units, do they? They have militia. Waldeck infantry, wow. They aren't like the equivalent of Walloon Guards, are they? I don't know. Probably not. But the... Um... Oh, Swiss infantry, yeah. So Swiss infantry fighting for the Dutch for freedom from the French. Hmm. Well, if you insist. Okay, cavalry. I have a slight advantage in that regard. And that's always good, of course. Okay, so these guys are retreating on the hill. Except these guys, which are facing the complete wrong direction. And aiming into the forest, which... In which no, none of my units are ever gonna do be at. So, decent tactics there. Okay, so obviously I need to assault this hill right here. And I want to assault it from over here, because they obviously will have an advantage. So let's try to do something like this instead. And militia, well... We can be a militia and just stand here and be filler. Let's see. If I could actually tr deploy them, that would be awesome. Nope, no deploying and I accidentally... And by clicking outside the window, well, I closed, almost caused a crash. And minimize the window, and I think screwed up the recording a bit. So, to hopefully try to avoid any potential desyncs with the game audio and all of that, I'll just quickly start and stop the recording, like two seconds, and well, I don't know if, if uh, as I said, it's to prevent a prevent a possibility of a desync, so and we're back again. No big deal. So, lesson to self, or note to self, I guess. Don't click outside screen when recording. That's not a good idea. Militia getting absolutely mullered. Mm hmm they are shattered, they won't return. Okay, you guys need to um, start firing at the enemy. That would be a decent tactic in warfare. Actually, do something like this, so these guys get get space to um, pathfind to where they need to be. Of course, they are hitting some of my men, standing behind the uh, initial line, which is of course not good. Waldeck infantry, okay. Superior infantry then? I don't know. But they're on guard units, so they're not that superior. If at all. Oh, so this is why I couldn't deploy here. A slight incline. 
Well, fuck me then. Anyway. Try not to be too much of a downer. And a... What's it called? Negative Nancy? Anyway, Militia coming to help fighting Militia, it seems like. They are swinging towards that direction. Okay, we're almost establishing a proper line right here. But let's take my reserves and actually get them in a position to be able to uh, provide reserve if needed. Oh, I moved them as well? Well, that was not intentional. Anyway, actually good because now they are targeting worthless militia instead of my units I can actually shoot. So I'm, I'm fine with that actually. Of course, these guys right here won't be hit by these guys, but that's just what you have to deal with. I have to live with that. Well, they are hitting some men. Oh, these were Swiss infantry. Forgot about that. They might uh, not be that much of a pushover as a militia. And certainly not when charging uphill. Hmm. That's not the best of choices. But at least we have superior numbers right here, so let's just charge in and hope for the best. Try to get some... not point blank. But at least close, close range shots. Something like uh, this, perhaps? Yeah, I think that'll work. Mm -hmm. I believe I'm losing. Well, I got Regiment of Horse and Dragoon, so no guard units. Well, I killed a general at least, uh, somewhere. Probably the cavalry. Yeah, either that or the Swiss infantry. Actually, they are routing without receiving... I think only receiving shots from the militia, actually. So, I guess this was quite an intimidating force, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, appears to be a bit too much. Hmm, we have some cavalry here. Should be able to uh, just continue on with the routing. Or ensure the routing. Of course, returning units. God damn it. Let's see what we can do. Let's send in the militia. And see what they can do. They're actually wavering from that, having 26 forces or so, charging all in at once, against, I don't know, 100 and how many? 140 men? Something like that. So these guys are shattered, those guys are shattered, broken, well we can do something about that. They are also broken. And these guys are broken, and yeah, that's the battle. Of course, a bit more dramatic than it needed to be, in the sense that, uh, that the battle, well, the game almost crashed because of my stupidity. But, as you can see, a uh, crushing defeat upon my enemy. And now the rebels are, uh, yeah, pretty much defeated. And of course now they are unhappy, uh, or they will be unhappy, due to, um, yeah, basically broken down buildings, which of course was caused by the rebels, 
So that's fun. That's always very jolly. Jolly. I want to use my navy for, navy for something, but I know it will be get getting crushed. Um, oh well, yeah, it will be pretty much crushed if I try to engage the first rates and heavy first rates and second rates. Hmm, this won't be a pretty battle, pretty sight. So, hmm, I need I need a better navy. I really do, and so once this gets through, which is not getting done in some hospital, lit hospital in some um, research facility. Let's see, where is it? It's over there. Okay, so this needs to be fixed. Hmm. That's quite a vulnerable uh, university. Hmm. Okay, where are you? Of course, you are there. Uh, it's a bit, a bit difficult, isn't it? Okay, I'll try to get you to do that, and... I know we were close to basically being finished with that, but... Yeah, you're way too exposed, and in addition to being destroyed, basically. So that's not good. Of course, this is still very much undefended, and could could probably fall to a Genoan assault right now, right here. And we have some ruined buildings here and there. But that's just things we have to deal with. Uh, fortunately, with uh, dealing with the Prussians, it seems that we have uh, killed all their competent generals. And all of these guys are basically captains and not generals at all. So that's at least a good thing. Uh, also, we, uh, we uh, lost the region of Low Louisiana. So New Orleans is now Iroquois. Iroquoian? Yeah, something like that. So our only presence on the North American continent, even though America is a single continent, I would say, uh, is um, is Georgia. Nothing bad about it, but it's it's just Georgia. Uh, we have a navy, which needs a base. I guess that will be Barbados, which of course is damaged. Because all of my all of my ports seems to be damaged. Actually, I'll stop and buy it right there, raid a bit, and do it like this. How you like them apples, huh? Yeah, not so funny, ain't it? Not so funny when it happens to you. Well, we still have still have a few provinces there and there. Of course, this is the remains of the Netherlands. And this is another one of those. And uh, once we get get some peace treaties going with the other nations, except for uh, Stuttgart, we can see. Um, well, we'll try to expand over there. If this campaign will go on for that long, we'll see. Now they are very very friendly. So I can't get... Uh, can I become protector? No, of course not. Because that would... That would give me... Uh, most of the taxes, so... It's understandable, but what's not understandable is that... Most of the... Um, the Islam factions aren't too keen on trading with me. Of course, I am... I am Christian, so I understand it in that aspect. But... I'm a Christian nation, I mean. Uh, so, I understand in that regard, but they are trading with other Western nations, and they do in several. I've seen it in several other circumstances. Anyway, uh, and ending the turn. Let's see what happens in the end turn. If nothing happens, that's that's the part. And if 
something do happen. Well, we'll see. It depends on the size of the battle. Of course, the Great Britain will, uh, will start doing some more uh, fun, funny, funny things to make my life a misery. At least my trading life a misery. So yeah, that's basically why I need a strong navy, just because of Britain basically destroying every single one of my good trade ports. Which is quite accurate to, um, to how the relationship between Britain and France has been. In war times, that is. And here we go. You know what? I I don't think I bother. This is how many times I've fought over Turin? I'll just auto resolve and and win. Well, thank you. I won't complain about that. But I just won't bother fighting that. Okay, all of uh, all of these guys are actually retreating. Do I want to intercept? I do, don't I? Yeah, I certainly do, but I don't bother. I won't bother fighting it, even though I know I will lose some crucial units in some crappy way. But let's do this. And it's it's very annoying how they choose to do this and how they choose to choose to divide the casualties. Like they try to, for the mo most most cases, they try to do slight damage to every single unit, which of course meaning you lose many, many cannons of your artillery battery, which of course is my my biggest asset in that army. So that's fun, but I, I knew that going into that, so I'm not going to complain about it, not too much. Mm-hmm. The Swedes don't understand the concept, uh, the concept of attacking as an army, not, uh, not by, as a single unit at a time, or two. That's a bit of a foreign concept, I, I, uh, I see. Okay, gentlemen. Yeah, we certainly need some uh, research capabilities. Of course, these guys are still angry with us. Because that's just the life of things. So this will at least provide some happiness to the nobility, of course, but that just the way the cookie crumbles. Recruitment? I don't know, we can't recruit too much yet. So we'll bother with that. So I lost a bit of my artillery battery, which is a shame. Which is a damn shame. But, I do believe we can have a battle with the Prussians. Of course, first a bit more uh, repairing. I know it's, it's, it's a very, very boring, but this has to be done. Uh, let's see... This is actually no damage, but this is. Hmm. Let's do something like this then. How do you like them apples? Uh, that's the second time I've said that, this bot. I think. So, let's stop that. Of course, this needs repairing. And, of course, no reinforcing armies yet. That's my fault. Let's see, Grenadiers. So I can spare two units. And and only only after the next turn. Or only in the next turn, I guess. But yeah, rest is either fixed or being fixed. So let's take this army right here. And attack these guys. Okay. 
So yeah, as the saying goes, we will blossom into next week. I don't know if that actually is a saying, but at least I heard it uh, a time. Sometime, so. By my definitions, it's a saying. And here we are. Flatlands. Nice. Very nice, says my artillery. Artillery officer. Uh, sorry about any potential background noise, by the way. There's construction work going on outside of my house, and it's not too loud, but it might provide some uh, disturbance. So yeah, with that out of the way, we can get on to the fighting. Let's see, first take the units that are, um, I would say, too damaged to be worth having in a fight, no matter how awesome they do look. Oh wow, they these guys certainly looks a lot like uh, the Carolinas, the um, or uh, I don't even remember how to pronounce it uh, properly, uh, Carolina, which is basically um, the uh, the Swedish army in the early 18th century or late 17th century. Which look quite awesome, by the way, and of course that's the that's the version you get in the game, and I actually do like them pretty much. I would say Sweden is my favorite faction in Empire Total War, just because well, two things: I'm Norwegian, and Sweden is basically the closest thing I get to playing as Norway. Even though <laughs> the relations between Sweden and Norway weren't actually what I would consider at the best during this time period, but but another thing is, is that, let's see, just deploying the last artillery cannon. Artillery cannon, the last <laughs> the last unit of artillery. But the second thing is that they have one of the easiest starts, I would say, and one of the best regarding technology. Because you have, you have um, Denmark right beside you, so go on, declare war on Denmark, grab Christiania, which is the capital of Norway, or was the correct capital of Norway, of course now the capital is Oslo, uh, but then, uh, after you capture that, go on and attack uh, Copenhagen, or, uh, yeah, that's how you, that's how you pronounce it in, in English as well, isn't it? Copenhagen? Copenhagen, I guess, but uh, Copenhagen is how you pronounce it in Norway, uh, and uh, yeah, basically, then you have conquered Denmark, and you might have been dragged into war with uh, Russia as well. And uh, despite its size, Russia is quite a pushover. So once you've gotten that down and quelled all the rebellions, you certainly, uh, you suddenly, not certainly, uh, have uh, three, I believe, three research facilities right out of the gates. And that really gives you a boost, trust me. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get some rumbling. And once again, we'll have some artillery carnage, I would say. Hmm. Quite a silent artillery barrage. That wasn't anything on your side, there's actually some sound glitching on my side. And you can see right away they're taking significant casualties. So let's shuffle over a bit. Actually, let's group these guys up and get them in a solid line. Something like uh, this, I would say. Yeah. And of course, Calorie likes. <laughs> likes to go after uh, infantry, line infantry, which is understandable, but usually involve getting slaughtered right away. So I really don't understand that aspect of it, I must admit. Hmm, hmm I seem to be having a slight, slight, slight... Um, a slightly exposed flank right here, but uh, that's manageable. 
So Bosniaks, I believe, are are uh, well, they're not dead as per se, but they are quite damaged. Okay, these guys are going off my hussars, and that will not happen. Stop trying to make it happen. It won't happen. Okay, these guys will do collateral damage, so stop that, please. Cavalry! Which are almost breaking before even reaching my lines. Something I'm not complaining about, by the way. Emilian observation. observation. I can't even pronounce observation. What the hell is wrong with me? Not being English or American or any other English speaking uh, country, I guess, is the problem with me. Come on. Ooh, that was brutal. All these guys farming at once. Want the more uh, satisfy, more satisfying uh, attacks, I would say, or units to attack with, and ways to attack with, among with artillery, which I find uh, highly satisfying. Okay, we are getting some outflanking done here, but you don't have any, any cavalry left. At least not anything engaging or still with us as, as uh, per now. Except gendarmerie, so just ignore everything I just said, but at least you don't have any cavalry in this vicinity. Which means outflanking is quite possible from my side. With these quite nice looking hussars. As I said before, uh, looking like they could be from the Napoleonic times. Of course, the times are not long away. Of course, uh, not for my nation, because I don't think I will will want France to fall to a revolution at this time. But at least historically, they're close. Yeah, let's uh, let's have the artillery. Well, first let's group the artillery up. And have them all fire at the formation, which is best for the artillery to actually fire at. Of course, now they disbanded. Or they're not in that... That particular formation. But still. It's decent targets. And with the added artillery barrage... They certainly did route. Actually, I thought I was telling you to run, or gill up, or however, uh, whatever is the correct term. But let's get some, let's get some cavalry and cavalry action right here. And they're not too happy about it, so have my cannon direct attention elsewhere. Yeah, these guys. That's that's much better, actually. Okay, you can go on and help a bit. I think that will be appreciated. Let's see, all of you guys, go on and outflank here. And these guys will break. Quite quickly. Oh, I see a returning unit. Let's do something about that. And we certainly will. Getting some slightly, some slight hiccups, but I think that is preferable to 720. And actually, it's preferable to um, have a stable 30 frames a second on on the recording in 1080p and occasional graphical hiccups or frame rate hiccups. Yeah, I think that's better than 720 and steady 30. And as I said, uh, this is most, most of the time steady 30 frames a second. Now, let's have you fire at the Grenadiers, actually. And have the, um, these guys 
the musketeers or chasseurs à cheval or whatever it's called here just light dragoons that was slightly boring I th think I told you guys to actually fire on these guys so can you please stop firing at my cavalry or the intended target of my cavalry that would be nice okay shattered that's nice these guys also are broken and the battle is won heroic victory of course some of them have survived and I have to track them down and brutally, brutally massacre them that's just a way of things Nah, that's such a small army, I won't bother. So, I'll just return to Hanover. And, you know what? I'm actually in a position, apparently my neighbor thinks it's a good idea to take a drill and drill into the wall in between us. So, you might experience some sound issues, but that'll be for a very short time. Because I was going to say that... Uh, now I'm finally in a position where, it where I apparently have the advantage over the Prussians, so I might be able to invade Prussia and capture Berlin or Dresden or whatever. But uh, what I was going to say is, I think I'm ending part here. I think this, I think this is not enough for one part, and maybe not two. So I think this might be just one part. We'll see. Of course, you know. Once again, I, I always point it out that you will know. You, you of course know that you know. Well, that was weird. Anyway. I'll try not to ramble on anymore. I'll end it right here. And I will see you in the next part. So, goodbye.